Due Date Management is one module of our suite of complete practice management products and can be separately purchased. It is designed to help you determine what main tasks or tax forms must be completed or started for user-specified date range. You want to avoid penalties and make sure your work is started and completed on time. Due Date will help you and your staff accomplish this goal. Let's start with a short demonstration. Before you is a subset of tasks within the management system. These are all the 1040s that are incomplete for the tax year. The current highlighted one, Virginia Bartlett, has a staff assignment manager and a partner. The default due date is October 15th, because this has been put on extension as noted by this checkbox here. Now let's add a new task to a client. Let's add another 1040 at the New button down here. Select the client. Look for an individual, and I'm going to assign this to this person and this manager. Same tax here, and we'll make it a 1040. I'm going to say Get 1099 because this gentleman always forgets to bring them. So, that's a primary note. Now you can see it's been added to the bottom of the list. If I put her on extension, it automatically adjusts the date to October 15th. But wait a minute, this item is already years late. I'm going to override since I had the permissions to do that and say that this is due by 10-15-14. Now when a date, a default date, is overwritten, it appears in red. So it's that simple to set up a new item. There is a firm tools menu that helps you do the basic navigation. Deleting and editing, new, delete, save, filters, and so on. But one of the shortcuts for adding a new record is just to hit this little arrow with the asterisk down here. Now I can run a report on these tasks that are incomplete by clicking Report Copy and Run Report. And now what you see before you is the 1040s that are on extension and a little progress bar that shows you the current status. I would like to change my filter set. I click Show Task Filters, Clear Filters. I'm seeing everything my due date system. I want to look at the things that the current logged-in user, FOL, is responsible for, or the 2010 year, and hide my filters, and I can see that there's just two items here. One, two, OK. And basic due date I can track when the information is received. And I also have some customizable status fields that I can use. For example, Assemble Information Complete Preparation. I can change those titles, but once I set them, I've got to stick with them for all my tasks. That's the basic due date. If you want a more sophisticated tracking system to track detailed items within a main task, then these workflow items demonstrate that, and that's covered in a separate video. It also lets you project staff utilization, assign different staff to different elements of the task. And you can see here, that's a 1040. And if I check Go to the Audit, that's got a different sequence of steps along with the budget and utilization reports. But that's not part of the basic due date. Basic due date is when has it been started? When is it due? Who's responsible for it? And what activities am I responsible for this particular client? Shown on this screen is the basic due date permissions, which I can limit the staff as to whether they can complete or delete an item. Over here is my basic form and task setup, so individual tax form. It's a yearly based on calendar year. Those are some other due date options they carry through. When you add a new task, down here you can see Task Weekly Meetings. The frequency of that bi-weekly, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or task on a specific date, like an IRS demand letter would be a good example of that. There's a quick setup feature. I can select the 1040 and the group of clients that they apply to and copy them in. 
so that's going to expedite getting started with the program. The cloning feature copies items from one period to the next and lets you maintain history of an item. Being able to go back and look up a previous year's item and look at the notes is a very practical, helpful tool. For example, the client last year failed to provide 1099 info and we needed extra time to reconcile fixed assets, so that gave us a heads up of this year as to what we might expect to encounter. A calendar add-on module that synchronizes us with Microsoft Outlook is also available that lets you show staff individual assignments of tasks and limit it to just their tasks. So, for instance, here we have a data sheet of the tasks for FOL. I can change the view of that to a form, and it shows the steps that the due date, so that item I can scroll through like that. Here are my personal tasks, here with my appointments. A comprehensive report generator is also included with Imagine Time to date. It allows you to sort and save reports in a variety of formats and fashions. Remember, if you need more detailed tracking for individual tasks or subtasks within a main task. If you do audits, extensive reviews, have assignments for different individuals or project staff utilization, then you need to consider our workflow module. Okay, that was easy. Now you have the basics of finish line due date monitoring. Contact Imagine Time at 877-520-1525 to speak to someone in our sales department or place an order. You can also download the free trial from our homepage or watch the instructional training videos. Thank you for your time today.